Hey everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to, I think we're 5.4, we're going to talk about net ionic equations. Now this is for double replacement only, okay? Soluble ionic substances should be written as ions. Remember, soluble means aqueous ionic substances should be written as ions. So that means, written as ions means split apart. Use the solubility rules to determine how it should be written, which means if it's aqueous, then it's written as ions. If it's soluble, I'm going to write that again. So soluble equals aqueous. Insoluble equals solid. And remember, solid could also be written as um, a down arrow. Right? Um, so if I'm looking at this, K2S. K is a group one, right? So because it's group one, this is aqueous. So it really shouldn't be written as K2S aqueous. It should be written like this, split apart. Aqueous means dissolved in water. And dissolved in water means you've turned into ions. Okay? Barium nitrate. This is aqueous. And I'm going to tell you why. This is aqueous because nitrates are always aqueous. If you've got a nitrate, you're aqueous. Okay? So that means it is split it apart. Notice how I get one barium and I get two nitrates when it dissolves, okay? So Mg304, so Mg304, Mg, not a group one, so that means I need to look for something else, and I look at my phosphate rule. Most phosphates are slightly soluble, okay? So slightly soluble, which means solid. So I write it together because it's not soluble because it's insoluble. Li3P, Li is group one. And if it's group one, that means it's aqueous, which means I need to write it as ions. Lithium in the periodic table, remember the periodic table shows us our ion place. Lithium's right here at the plus one. And then phosphorus is all the way down here. Uh, plus three, zero, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Phosphorus is right here. So it's going to be P minus 3. And notice I have three lithiums, so I put a 3 here. Okay. Na3PO4. Again, I've got a group 1. There's sodium. Na, my order is probably a little wrong, but that's a group 1, so i got to write it as ions. Na positive. And I'm so glad I memorized my ion sheet. PO4 negative 3. Notice how I have three NAs. So again, look out for the polyatomic ions that we had to memorize. And those chunk together. We're never going to separate those guys out. So if it's aqueous, you write it as ions. Right? Net ionic equations only shows the precipitate and the ions that make up that precipitate. Okay? So we're going to write each aqueous substance, both reactants and one of the products at least, will be ions. The reactants are always aqueous. If you check the solubility rules, sometimes it'll say it's a precipitate. It's not. That's the slightly soluble part. So we're going to deal with the slightly part there. Okay. So when the same ion is on both sides, it's called a spectator ion and should be canceled out or removed. Okay. So if I have Na2S um, soluble, group one, and BaCl2 soluble, most chlorides are soluble, soluble, group one, and this is my precipitate, okay? I'm going to write it as ions. Na2S written as ions, boom. BaCl2 written as ions, boom. NaCl written as ions, boom. Precipitate stays together, okay? Now I can cross off the ions that are on both sides. So I'm going to look. We'll change to happy yellow. When I look, do you see I got Na on both sides? And I got Cl on both sides? So I canceled those guys out, right? And all I have left is S negative 2, BA plus 2, BAS. Okay. Strep 3 is right, the net ionic equation. This ion plus this ion yields this precipitate. This ion, this ion, this precipitate. That's it. Okay. Now, you can see some shortcuts that will come out, and we'll talk about those in class. But this will get you through every time. Right is ions. Okay, soluble. Ions, boom, boom. Ions, boom, boom. Insoluble is my precipitate. Ba boom, solid. Soluble, boom, boom. Okay. Cross off your spectator ions and do it. So let's take a look. Let's do one more. 
Um, remember, uh, first I'll predict the product split. So I'm going to trade places for NA and CA. You get NABR plus CASO4. I'm going to check my charges. NA is plus one for the periodic table. Bromide is minus one for the periodic table, so they're good. Calcium is plus two from the periodic table. Sulfate is minus two from my ion sheet. That's good, too. All right. So this, these guys, I already know, are aqueous, so I'm going to write them as ions. Over here, sodium is group one, right? So aqueous. Calcium sulfate. Calcium is not group one. So I'm going to get out my solubility rules. And I'm looking at sulfates, and it says most sulfates are soluble except calcium. Oh, man, so that's my solid. Okay, so if I write them all out as ions, I've got Na positive plus SO4 negative 2, right? Then I've got plus Ca plus 2 plus Br minus. Remember, I get the charges from the periodic table or from my ion list. Yields, got to write this one as ions too, Na positive plus Br negative. And then the only thing I write together is my precipitate, which I can't seem to write right now, uh, plus CaSO4, solid. Okay, Canceling out the ones I don't like, because they're on both sides. Na is on the left, Na is on the left, Br is on the left, Br is on the right, and write my reaction. SO4, negative 2, plus Ca plus 2, yield CaSO4, solid. You do want to indicate this is a solid. Honestly, anything that's an ion is aqueous by definition, or it's on the core of the sun. So I don't even require that you put aqueous on it if it's an ion. But that's it. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I will say toodles to you, and I hope you're good with your net ionic reactions.